Once again, folks, um, this is an update on my RC10 GT. First one is just a look around, show you what I did, and that was about it. No speech, nothing. Well, other day I was looking on how to better performance on my car. Went through everything, superchargers, turbos, you, you know. But the cooler certain parts in your car work or fuels work, the better your engine is like an actual car, you know. So I came across a part where a guy bought a exhaust air cooler, which, to simplify it, is you need the air pressure from your exhaust to go into your fuel tank, which pressurizes it and pushes the fuel through into your engine, through the carbon to your engine. Well, even if you have a fuel filter, that helps. But if you could actually cool the exhaust gases coming out from the exhaust, from the exhaust cool it down to make it enter your tank, it doesn't heat up your fuel, which helps your fuel keep cooler and helps your engine run better. Well, what I did is I took two tubes, one slightly big aluminum tube and one real smaller, just the same radius as the hole you will see if you look through the silicon tubing for any parts, of, you know, for your exhaust or your fuel line, the same radius. I extended that one through the bigger tube, which is the outer rim that you see. I closed it up, which leaves basically like, if you can imagine a jar with a tube running through it, you could put water in it, but look through the other end. Okay, so I filled that and I filled up the empty cavity with alcohol. Closed off this end and closed off that end, which everybody knows if you're into racing cars or any type of cars or engines, into coolers or something. Distilled water is good. Water is good, distilled water is good, but alcohol is better. Alcohol pulls heat, takes away heat, plus aluminum does the same thing. So I have two things going good. Aluminum, lightweight, pulls the heat, helps to keep the inner tube cool. The alcohol is pulling away the outer tube, brings it up to the fins, which blows off. And when it exits, it's cooler entering my fuel tank. Okay. The next modification I'm going to do is all-in-one fuel exhaust line air filter coolant, which I'll explain to that on the next update. When? I don't know, but soon. Well, for now, this is the exhaust gas air line cooler to my fuel tank. Cost zero. Savings, a lot. Five to ten dollars is a lot when something simplified and a simple idea could be just sat down and thought about and done. See? Exhaust gas hot and runs through the tube, which is surrounded by alcohol, cools down, dissipates the heat, brings it to the heat sink, cools it off. Bits it back out in here, goes into the tank, air cooler, runtime longer, fuel consumption less. RC10 GT, handmade front bumper, that's the lease, redone rods, it's coming up, it's coming up. We don't want it too much talk. We don't want it too fast. No 15, no 22. We keep it at 18. But nothing better than an OS. And of course, our homemade items, which saves a lot in the long run. Cost, priceless.